So we have prepared, or Jayananda Maharaj has prepared something <laughs> for sharing. So, so today some devotee went to Radha Kunda and uh, we are fortunate to, to meet to Radha Kunda Mahanta and Keshava, Keshava Maharaj. So we want to distribute to lead uh, Mirapak Sumanjali verse 15 about to, uh, this Radha Kunda. Oh, blooming lotus eyed girl, Radhi, when my eyes directly saw your pond, Radha Kunda, which is filled with sweet water and lotus flowers surrounded by blissfully humming bees. Then I really got the desire to taste the nectar of your service. What is the lotus flower? I explain. Lotus flower. So lotus is born from mud, but uh, lotus flower is very beautiful. Uh, lotus, lotus flower does not touch any impurity. So lotus represent is kind of a divine, beautiful thing. Sometimes Krishna's lotus hand, lotus feet, and sometimes say looks like lotus. Krishna's or Radha's eyes also looks like lotus. And also face also might be say lotus. So this especially here say lotus eyes. Radhika's eyes like lotus like very, what is it? Uh, beautiful and long, and uh, eyes a little bit uh, uh, kajal. This part is this, this brackish, and uh, eyes like blue. Always, it, um, always moving. Ah, uh, I'm moving. No, no. Yeah. Restless. Restless. Because Radhika's eye always looking for Krishna. Mohan. Radha's Mohan. So where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Where is Mohan? Also, same times, Mohan also looking for Radhika's 
side the wrong grounds from radicals, don't ask anything. <clears throat> and when their eyes, the lotus eyed of the lotus eyed girl, are blooming, then she's really eager to meet her beloved. So all the, the uh, different attributes of Swamini are showing the maidservants what is coming next. What is my service? Oh, my Swami. Her eyes become so beautiful. Is she seeing more on somewhere? What can we do? What is our service? Like Jai Shri Krishna said so nicely, that is the Mutya in Vrindavan. That's why we feel also this love we also want to serve naturally. And then when we come to Radhakund, where the transcendental energy of this love is floating in all particles, in all atoms, and in all the hearts of those dasis, like you said, who are living there, trying to realize their spiritual identities. Then, when we come there also, we get the desire to taste the nectar of Srimati Radharani's service. And also Raghunath Das Goswami, he is saying this to inspire, also us to feel that. How can I become transcendentally enlivened and moved in the heart to serve Srimati Radhika when her lotus eyed eyes are blooming at Radhika? <laughs> Explanations. In the previous verse, Sri Ravana Das prayed to Sri Mati Radhika that he may once see her lotus feet anointed with black color. And in this verse, he prays for the actual service of these anointed lotus feet, having become greedy for that service. O oh, lotus eyed Radhi, ever I got to see your leg, I developed a liking for your devotional service. Sri Radha Kunda is the limitlessly beautiful crown jewel of Praja. Priyaji's Sarasi, which is most dear to those whose everything is the service of Sri Radhika's lotus. Sarasi, Gurudev, is that his original source of all ras? It's said, he says, Priyaji no, Sarasi. Huh? Ah, original source of ras. Yeah, this, that's the sad. Let's explain that Sarasi is saying. Yeah. No. Yes, Gurudev is explaining that this Radha Kund is so special. Because all the love of Swamini is constantly increasing. And it's like that love has become a liquid, divine energy that is there to serve. Mohan was also there at Shyamakunda and receiving her liquid prema. 
It's like the water has this energy of a pure love to Moha. And that's why she is called, or why it is called Sasi or Rasasar. It's a fountain that is never ever stopping to flow. And it's serving Moha. It's making him unlimitedly happy because he is eager for this flow of love. The Kunda is as sweet as Radha's sweetness. And the Kunda is as great as Radha's greatness. Sri Krishna will bestow a love equal to that of Radha's to anyone who bathes even once in this Kunda. It says in Chaitanya Chaitamita. So, did you take a bath? Jai <laughs> Very good. And you feel the softness. The water felt softness. It was like comforting. Yes, it's like a, I feel it's like a cradle. You feel like a baby in the softness of this. It's, it feels like milk. It doesn't feel like It's kind of thick, viscous. Because it is really true that in this radical there is a, another hidden, like a well inside that comes out of there. And this is a little bit of milk in there. And that's the heart felt love for Rasa, for Mohan from Srimati Radhika's heart. And she's blessing those who are bathing there with the same feelings to develop in it. Her service. That's why it said it is as sweet as Radha's sweetness and as great as Radha's greatness. Only the experienced devotees understand the complete feelings of possessiveness of the Radha Nishta devotees. Those who are completely loyal to Radha. Now that is the point. Yes. <clears throat> so, this is an important point. We just read those who are completely loyal. Now we understand that uh, again we come to the point of Saiba because only those who are completely loyal to her get the mercy. Who are mixed, they will never find the real goal we are looking for. We have to fix our bath. And that creates the city power. When we are one pointed, then the success will come. If we are not one pointed, we are running in this world like in a desert and looking for water and don't find. Mm. But if we are one pointed, we go in the right direction. Our, our Guru is showing because he knows where the water is in this desert. <laughs> we surely find. But if we run today in this direction and tomorrow in this direction, how to find the source? No water will come. And after a while, we become very dry thirsty and no result is coming. So only those who are what Suniti? Completely loyal to Radha. This is right through there. We have to be completely loyal to our Radha. 
So those who are completely loyal to Sri Radha and who love Priyaji with their whole hearts and who have offered their hearts to her lotus feet towards Sri Radha Kun. It is here that Sri Sri Radha Mohan eternally play their midday pastimes. And there's no place so dear to them as this. The Kunda is related to Swamini as being non different from her. So along with the Kunda, those devotees who are surrendered to her see the Lina. So this is very interesting thing. Radha Kunda and the Radha Rane is non different. Because Radha is bathing, bathing water and Radha, Radha Rani and Radha Rani bathing water is the same. But one sense, Radha Rani is bathing water might say more merciful than Radha Rani. Because Radha Rani is uh, uh, bathing water like a uh, Charanamrita. It's like a uh, nectar dropping from lotus feet or maybe it's a lotus body. To bathing, generally speaking, we have to be, we don't wear, of course we wear, you know, something, but uh, generally speaking, bathing means to, we have to surrender everything. We cannot uh, carry it. And also, Radha Kunda, it is a midday pastime. Like uh, about 10, maybe noon time, Radha Mohan go to Radha Kunda. 
And then in the Radha Kunda, Radha Moha, that's so many pastimes. One of pastimes is like a water pastime. A few, maybe, I don't know, a few weeks ago, so Radha Rani and Mohan splashing water. So which one? Is we then Kundarata or somebody say, Oh, winner may get peace to to loser, loser. And then Radha Rani thinking, Okay, maybe good, but later on, Radha Rani realized. Oh my God, winner and loser is the same thing. But uh, too late. So they are splashing water. And Manjari was, was is not the, in the water. Manjari was a little bit outside and uh, she prepared Manjari to prepare like a bathing cross and towel, etc. So Manjari wear white uh, thin cross to the gopi. So Radha Rani was splashing, but uh, she does not do, do not strongly because Radha Rani is hearing, especially I for Mohan. If she had I, Mohan could not see. Radhika's body. But Mohan is really a little bit mad. So, so he splash much water. And then, 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 then very thin cross, white cross. Then slowly, slowly, Mohan could see reality. And then Mohan become more mad. But Mohan is so eager to splash water to radical. And he attacked radical's eye. So radical is defeated. Then, 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 some Kundarata or some Gopi say, oh, oh, no, actually, Krishna said, I'm winner. And then Krishna goes to, to kiss Radhika. And Radhika is hesitating, say, no, 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 no. So it looks like Radhika defeated. But uh, Manjari is sense. Radhika is serving Mohan to please. So she, uh, Mohan could see and Mohan could taste this nectar of Sri So many Dira was done around the Radha Kunda or in the Radha Kunda. So if we are fortunate, if, if, uh, if, if we are light mood, what is right to me? 
Dice, nada, nista. Dice, nada, complete loyal to nada. Means, stay baba. Stay baba. And manja baba. And that devotee could taste the nectar of the Radha Kunda's water. Also, this Baba said, those devotees who are surrendered to her, she is the leader. Mm. So Guru Dev is saying, what is surrender? Surrender is to our ego. To ego should offer. Actually, not only ego. Everything. Every feeling also. We could offer. To Swami. Then by the mercy of Swami, Swami, Swami could give mercy upon us. Then we could see the leader. Can you explain this so nicely? I get some. Why the Manjari not go in this water? Why they are stand out of the water? And why the Sakis are in the water? This water, actually, we say it's a part of Radhika. But in this water, her bath is in bath is this water is expansion of her bath and whoever touch this water will get her bath so now we understand why the sakis are in the water they like to take part of her bath and they also like to enjoy this Krishna. They like to share this. Manjaris will never touch this because they don't like to enjoy with Krishna. They only like to serve. Because of this, they not go in this world. We have an, another example how Swamini left her bath in the water by touching this. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took bath on a place I don't know, is, is it Ganga or Yamuna Samiti? Where he left her bath, oh, his bath. Yeah, for Naratunga's temple. Where was it this Ganga? Ganga, 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 Kaveri, maybe. Ah, Kaveri, this river. So we understand again who is this Goranga? When he Remember one devotee who, who uh, I, I think he didn't take birth at this time, no? No. But he remembered him. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make. No, she remembered. Mm -hmm. We have to say she remembered him in the future. And so in this holy river, he went in and took bath. And on this point, he left his, her bath for him. So now we understand 
who can realize the bar of Swamini? Only the self-realized souls. If we take bath in the Gata Kunda, we may feel, wow, this is so soft. And we feel so embraced, even in the Sadakdeya. But this bath will take full When we in the Siddha they are there, when we remember we are Manjaris, and then there will be the difference. So, but this to understand which feeling a Manjari. Jananda and Angora are just, uh, and Sariri, they are just floating us with the Radha Kund uh, And today, they is dedicated to Radha Kund. So, just one thing which, um, thank you so much, which I now just realized, and Gora was talking that Mahaprabhu, she left the path for Narottam, and which path she left? She left the Manjari path, because wow. Narottam Das is the one who has unfolded Manjari path, Manjari Sadhana to this world in so beautiful details. It was his mission, right? So that path, he left the Manjari path. Wow. Thank you, Gora. She to her. We become confused now. <laughs> and also, it is said, Narottama's body is originally blackish. Mm. But, but after bathing, after getting Baba, his, his bodily color become like golden. Wow. This is very interesting. Like uh, Radharani, Krishna, the color is blackish, but once he gets the mood Baba from Radharani, he cannot remain color as black, blackish, you know, it becomes like gold. Wow. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Floating. Nothing I so we see the mercy of Radha Kund is to be able to meditate more and more about the mercy of Srimati Radhika and how she's delivering and how it takes place in the Leelas, in Gaura Leela and in Rindavan Leela and also in our hearts. That happened today because special mercy that uh, Mahanda Radhakund and his disciples visit Gurudev and Mungel Mandir. And so we can see that the mercy is here. He was just here and we can, we can share uh, deep feelings and realizations because if these personalities, these souls visit us, that is the same meaning as Radha Kun herself coming. There is no difference. Open everything to us if we let them in. So this is 
we can see this room is, is floated from Radako. <laughs> it is exactly uh, seven seven kind of basin. Mm -hmm. I forgot everything, <laughs> but one of one of Beijing is kind of smaller mm. So, so, eh, Suniti wa Gorasundara pub say, eh, Beijing means take the mood of Shri Materana. So, if we read this Ananta Das Baba's this, this commentary, and then we remember and meditate it. That's also another kind of basing because we are trying to to wear, we are to have this feeling of our Swami. That's I may say. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and Sri Pat says, when I beheld the beauty of your lake, I developed a yearning for your service. Mm -hmm. So I feel also when, like you said so nicely now, when we read these commentaries from the heart of Srila Anantana Svavati Maharaj, also he's giving us also the beauty of Radha Kund. He is there and he's carrying this in his heart and in his commentaries and he's sharing it with us. But which, which mood? <laughs> Manjaris are sharing. You you just read this. This is a different between this bath of the Manjari and the bath the Sakis get when they took bath when the water games took place. They like to share this uh, erotic mood of Radhika. Mm -hmm. Right, good. They have another interest. <laughs> but my theory is when they take baths in the Radha Kund. What do you read? I developed a yearning for your service. Yeah. This is the, what you explain explaining. Really. Now we have to understand this. That we like her service more and not her erotical Bob, this is only for her. Yeah, dangerous. <laughs> One step too much, and we touch this. <laughs> Not enter this this bath in the Radha We can get everything there, but careful, right? Sadhu <laughs> 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 Amazing, or something. Amazing. <laughs> you never practiced from 20 years. How do you know these things? <laughs> I sleep too much here in this room. <laughs> 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 Oh, this room has a magic. Yes. We see Domino. The bank of Radha Kun is really wonderful. There are divine Kadamba, Champaka, Kunda, Shirisha, Ketaki. And King Sukha trees, as well as beautiful 
Lavanga, Jatti, Jutti, and Madhavi vines. There are many different fragrant flowers. And Shukka and Sharika parrots are singing on the branches of the trees. Singing sweet songs, Rasadam, about Radhika and Mohan. Kukuk sing in the fifth note, and bees are humming. So many birds are chirping, and the peacocks spread their tail feathers out as they sweetly dance and cry out, Peacock! <laughs> The great branches of the trees that beautify all the banks of the Kunda are studded with goose pimples out of ecstasy, which they show in the form of their knots. And they shed tears of ecstasy in the form of the honey that trickles from their flowers. The water that fills Radhakund and Shyamakund sweet and filled with many colorful lotus flowers is actually not water. It is the splendid, spiritual, erotic flavor of Radha and Mohan's pastimes. These things can only be seen with spiritual eyes that are anointed with the soul of love. So we need to have a spiritual eyes. We need to see have a spiritual body. Because material vision, we may we may go to Radha Kunda. Some people, some people say there is so many covering. Because some materialistic devotees see Radha Kunda kind of materially, we can benefit from bathing Radha Kunda. Like material benefit. Also, some people go to see, eh, see in spiritual mood, spiritual Baba, or spiritual eyes. At that time, we could see the feeling of Radha, feeling of Manjari, in spiritual Baba and spiritual. Body, spiritual eyes, and especially this say uh, anointed with salve of love, like a cream of love. So we could see things in 
loving perspective or ego perspective. We could see negative perspective and also positive perspective. This Baba said, This spiritual thing could see uh, uh, can only be seen with spiritual eyes. What kind of spiritual eyes? Anointed with cream of love. So a good day say <laughs> this love. In spiritual body is prema, and this sadhaka deha, and love and care. So if we have this vision, we could see more deeply. So this Baba is very kindly. <coughs> so we need a spiritual body. We need spiritual eyes. The spiritual eye opened by Guru David's grace. This is only possible by Guru David's mercy. Yes, we are singing Omajana Timirandasya, Venandana Shanakaya, Chakshur Omilitamina. As my my eyes are blind, but you have given me this open vision. You have opened my eyes. You have given me the mercy to perceive everything in the feeling of love and service mode, which you are living as personified. Love and service mode. This kind of kajal we need. A sweet kajal of love and service. Materialistic people cannot see it as it is. In eternal con internal consciousness, Antardasha, we practice Lila Moi Bhakti, devotion that is filled with these transcendental pastimes. <clears throat> Which emotion is it need to be again? Devotion. Yeah, this sentence is very deep. I was thinking Baba's writing it as if it's something very natural. For him, it is natural. In internal consciousness, Antardasha, we practice Lila Moi Bhakti, devotion that is filled. With the transcendental pastimes. What would do the Bajaris remember in this <clears throat> when they remember the pastimes? They do remember her service and the form of radical everything in this move, no? Yeah. These are her emotions, her service emotions. Not erotical emotions. They don't have, they don't like these erotical emotions. They have their service emotions. This is special in the manjaris. I want to ask one thing to you. In, in Suniti was reading that it's not visible with material eyes, but we also hear that the pastimes of Radha Kund are not even visible to Mother Yashoda, Nanda Baba. They cannot even see them. 
So in which mood we can see the past tense fluidly? Gopi Vahal. Sakhi Vahal. And like Vahal. Gopi and Sakhi's goals to past time. But Manjiri is the watching from distance. Why? Because his pastime is an open place, na? And when Gopi Sakis are there, when she the required, she's ready for that. When she will come out, then she has to try the body of her. That time she is one. Then she required service. When they're bathing, they're playing. This is Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav. Manjuris prepare the Kunja that after the bathing, they can go in yeah. and retreat. And inside, when they are going for bathing, she bring the clothes. Mm. For Radhika. And she selected white mm. and very thin food for Badi to When you bath with very thin food, then clothes transfer. Totally. With the water, it will more transparent. So why she do that? Something good to happen. <laughs> In Krishna's side. Krishna has to be true. He knows everything that's all about this world. If we break him, he has already. This means that meditating on Radha Kun pastimes is more for someone who is in Gopi Bhav? No. Come and go. And living this flower and trees and this are um, uh, creepers, all are surrounding to other people. They are all different, different bhavas. And in the soul who is interested to Come to Radha and many after. So they are in different different. Uh, some are outside, free, <coughs> some are inside. Kuku, Sarika, and these are also there. This, this all are there. Yeah. Yeah. All our So now there comes, now there is a quote or some quotes of verses of Krishnanika Kaumudi. Yeah. The syllables Ra, Sa stand for the sweet, splendid love 
of the divine couple, Radha and Mohan. And when these syllables are reversed, we get the word Sahra, our lake. This secret makes the devotees very happy. So rasa is the sweet love of the divine couple of Radha and Moha. And Sara means lake. So what is the secret word? Sara. Yes. And reservoir or lake. Right. See the reservoir to give rasa. Mm. Rasa is Sara. On the forest. Therefore, the devotees reveal that Sara Lake by bathing in that rasa. And he was asking, Sara teach. Sara means everything. Sara. Sara. Captain, Sara teach. Sara. Everything. Sara teach. Sara. Sara teach. Sara teach. Sara teach. Sarah means also everything, yeah. all inclusive or yeah. Yeah. everything. Sarah, total. total. Totality. Oh, the totality. Okay. Yeah. Of Rasa. Or Rasa. Sarah, what she do, everything. For Rasa. Sarah, Rasa. Everything for love. Everything for Krishna. Wow. Everything for Krishna. That is Sarah. She knows the universe. Sarah, she knows Mother. Get them. Sarah, they are the after. Get them. That is. And now we can understand also Lord, if, uh, what Manjaris are feeling when they are watching from outside this, what happened there in the in the Rakun. And they have this water games. Because in between they see what to prepare after. They see wow. Well, there are other gopis. Krishna is, is wow. In a special mood now. He saw when Radhika lifted her, her arms to cover her eyes. And uh, she has this what, very thin clothes on. He sees this. Oh, you can imagine that. So one, one, one hand to defeat, one hand on the on the eyes. That means the opposite. See them. This wet clothes, and uh, we can imagine that this lusty boy. <laughs> become crazy because he is not only seeing this he is bathing 
in the pond of bath of her desires. Yeah. They become. <laughs> so, and Manjar is watching a scene. Around there are some Sakis who has desire to get him, to catch him. And they have to take care that he will find the right Kunja after this. So, so much service is now growing in their hearts of the Manjaris. They become very energetic now to, to prepare everything. They know exactly how to do this. Then he will find, after all, the right Kunja. Hey, Gopinath! <laughs> because for the, for the Gopis, this is the highest moment, no? They are so close with him. Yeah. But for the Manjaris, this is not the highest moment. The highest moment is when they step out and need to be dried and need to change their clothes. And they need a private, secluded place for that, where only them, Radha and Mohan, and the Manjaris can be the Sakis have to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> this is our job as Manjari. Keep the seat there. It's yes. too much I sit on your lap. I sit on your lap. Give us a <laughs> This is the beauty of the Manjari. So Manjari's Guru Dev have to be very, very clever in this moment because situation is critical. Yeah. Many want to enjoy now there. Yeah. So Guru Dev, what to do? This is the position. Yeah, we can to understand coming in Manjari now. How important is Manjari? Without coming. As time out there, you cannot see every detail. You only see Krishna and Radha. Because Radha not throw the water, so Saki is not throw the water. They throw water against Radha. To some Krishna. They can change that mood. They also go on the price. Yeah. But if the Radhika is put pushing water, Gopi will push water for her. But Radhika not do. They don't do. They went that side to do that. See that? But we want our Swamini to win. <laughs> Manjari <coughs> has different mood. He only sees Swami and Gopi and Saki can see a Radha good friend, eh? but Krishna side and Radha side, Krishna side and Radha side. This is the Krishna. <coughs> and once Krishna cares, Come out from his influence. It's very that takes time. Then we need Sastra and the support to keep Krishna. Without Sasa, it cannot be seen. Bro, it's not working. You need that. But the eye is not there. So, Sasa is there. Books are there to support. And for Radhika, you need feeling, power. And you will start. <coughs> so this is love.
And only those who are fixed are useful for Radhika. Those who are not fixed, maybe not. They are useless. Yeah. No? Complete useless. Sananaji was saying about loyalty to other. Here, loyalty is very important. No Jananaji. Yes. 108 percent. Yes. 120 <laughs> percent. <laughs> because <coughs> it's not loyalty. If we don't have loyalty, then that means that we are not a stipend. We have a Sanchari <laughs> Sometimes we go Krishna, sometimes we go Radha. So that tendency we have, sometimes, you know, we go this Guru Dev, or we go this, that Guru Dev, or we may go this place, that place. So our mind is not big sometimes. That is our problem. <laughs> So this loyalty is only, only for Radha. Guru Dev saying Baba and self, feeling and uh, with feeling and service. But the Saki is some some tendency for, for enjoyment. So that is a little different. <coughs> So that's why Janandaji is so important that we listen to Vilapu Sumanjali because to establish firm loyalty, we need to enter this understanding of what Ravunath is teaching. No? Yes, sure. Because, because, because we could see this Raghunath Das has so much loyalty to Sri Rupa and also our Swami. Means Guru Dev, Guru Manjari, and also our Swami. Of course, Swami is more important, of course. But uh, he is always, from beginning, he is meditating his, his friend and also Guru Manjari and Lupa Manjari. <coughs> And uh, that is, uh, he showed us how to, how to meditate, how to do seva, how, how we should have yearning, greed, how, how to do this, this Rupa Nuga Bhakti. Yeah. That is, uh, that is his teaching, especially Anandas Baba. <coughs> it's so fixed and so realized, this Baba. So he is uh, completely style. So if we hear from him, if we meditate his words, then we become, we may get style Baba. <coughs> So the syllabus Ra Sa stands for the splendid, sweet love of the divine couple, Radha and Krishna. And when these syllables are reversed, we get the word Sara or Lake. This secret makes the devotees very happy. Therefore, the devotees reveal that Sara, that lake, by bathing in that rasa. And by Krishna's grace, they become blessed by attaining a love for Krishna that is equal to that of Sri Radha. Yeah, that is a quote here. When Krishna becomes eager to see Radha, when all his endeavors fail, he takes shelter of Radha. Good. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. at that moment he gets the audience of Radha on the strength of the Kunda. Yeah. This one sentence, Buddha, maybe that is in Gopi <coughs> <laughs> Yeah. This one sentence when they say, this is actually, I don't know this, this scripture, Krishnanika Kaumudi. You know that? Yeah. This is a Krishnaika comedy. Krishnaika. This is, this is, I think, Kabi Karnapur wrote the past time of the Mohan. Uh -huh. Is he a Gopi? Uh, he's Saki. Ah, see. That's why it said here, Gurudev. <coughs> we don't know. We read only Saki Gopi's books. <laughs> and by mistake, somebody too. first read the Manjari book. Then it's different. So, big problem. <laughs> who has already made the base and who is new for them is very easy. <laughs> So, sometimes reading, the wrong thing is also uh, <clears throat> Michael Gunway. Yeah, that's why he had said, Guru, in that Shastra, that by Krishna's grace, the devotees attain a love for Krishna that is equal to that of Sri Radha's. Yeah. That is Sakya. Mm -hmm. It's also possible. Yeah, it's possible. You said that we can get Gopi bar, Saki bar, and Manjari bar by bathing in Radhakun. You said. It's like on the highway, we were saying sometimes you have to be careful not to take the wrong exit. <laughs> then you have to go you have to go like this again. Ah, come back. Go left. And we again lost, you go right. We lost the faith Radhika take on us because she has full faith in the manja. We cannot do this. We are her shelter mm. in this case. She relies on us. And yeah. Manjari also has a full center in that. So not, nothing doubtful there. They don't see even in dreams. Hello. Mm. Ah. <coughs> no interest. There. No desire for self enjoyment. But if you find in out of Vrindana, you will find only Sakhi and Gopi. Mm -hmm. This is the gift of Mahaprabhu. Only when we come in Vrindavan, some realizes, and by mercy, if good associations are there. It's an only possible by science. So, Gurudev, if someone who stay outside Vrindava, they want to learn this cause, not so. It is not possible. Huh? No. Practice is not. If I know I cannot practice. So, practice and learning and practicing to leave it. He, he is sitting here at Gaurav's he is coming on and on. Fully not. Mm. <clears throat> when he got it, 
when he sees me sing, he come back. Well, you ask me. Say honestly. <coughs> Yeah, what to say with it? I can. I do actually not so much, right? But I was close to you, listen to you, and others in the circle also. And then something came, open the eyes, understand, come in the feeling, feelings is there. That I, what I could understand, that, uh, that it's not a question of knowledge, actually. Yeah. Knowledge is not bad. I will not say that knowledge is, is bad. But this is knowledge that you feeling comes to. When the feeling comes, that is the knowledge of the soul. Yeah. So, and uh, this to understand, to give up this mildly uh, what you say about this this if, if you uh, um, informations collecting, yeah, collecting information <coughs> and you think by collecting information you will get some results on an emotional level <laughs> how can a recorder get some emotions? So if you use your brain only for recording and uh, uh, getting information, then nothing will happen. So um, last year we spoke about come from the from the mind and the heart. I, I remember that was it. And uh, this, if this, when this happened, and you imagine the feelings of others, especially of that, what we read in the Villa Kushmanjali, of the feelings of the, maybe also from the gopis to understand their feelings, Radhika's feelings, Manjari's feelings, Krishna's feelings, and you try to go in these feelings, then you maybe we understand what is the speciality of the Manjaris. They are unique. Nobody can do what they're doing. They have to be cool when the love games take place. Because they have only seen their service to Radharani. They think about when they watch this, what is to do next step, how to serve her. Not how can I enjoy with her or with him or whatever. This is this never come in the in one Manjaris don't know about this. They have their full enthusiasm is only in the service. And when it, even when they only think on their service, they become mad. And then uh, like on the on the border of the Radakun, uh, when they see that. How the situation is, is uh, uh, now and how important it is to do this and this and this. They immediately come in this beautiful mood. And this mood actually is our goal, to come in this mood. And then if we understand or try to understand and come in this feeling, then it, it happened somehow. And then the, Society here in this one point of cave, <coughs> then it happened. Outside, you can find everything, but not sky bath in Madhuri Bath. Guru, Guru De always says, where knowledge ends, love starts. <laughs> and Guru De also says, just to underline what Gora said, Jiva is Sarupahoy, Nitya Das. So, constitutional position of the Jiva is to be Dasi, right? And Manjari's body is Seva Rupa, made out of, every pore is made out of Seva, 
So it's the natural position. But the whole world don't like to accept this. <coughs> they like to enjoy, actually. Because of the identification of this plastic body, what Guruji said, they are they think they are this toy what is giving by Krishna's mercy. So by this identification, every everybody in this world likes to enjoy and not like to give service to Swamini, to the love. And this tendency, it's not so easy. You see this small group here. No? There are not so many who like to, to come in this service mood and serve our Swami. Only a very few people like to do this. And then to fix, to stay in your fixed bar, <coughs> in an ocean of souls who are in a complete different bar, this is not easy and we have to stabilize this every day. <coughs> so now, after hearing Gora Sundara Prabhupada's words, I more clearly understand. <coughs> Guru Dev said, <coughs> we are reading Bhagavatam, 10th canto, 2nd chapter. So, Krishna said to Yoga Maya, go to Buraja. So, Buraja, Yoga Maya influence is strong. But outside Buraja, especially outside India, Outside of Vrindavan. Outside Vrindavan. <coughs> is Mahamaya's influence is quite strong. So, what is Mahamaya's influence? The influence of enjoyment. Oh, I want to enjoy. I want to enjoy this body, my senses. So, therefore, Guru is saying, outside Buraja, it is difficult to get this this Manjari Baba and also Manjari Sadhan. <coughs> in Praja, the mass of Yoga Maya, mass of Sri Radha, so we may get, we forget the tendency of enjoyment. We, we, we you get, can also do because of Yoga Maya has been there. Mm. Outside, Mahamaya Shakti is there. No, no. There is no way out to go for you. Mm. Here, Yogamaya Shakti mm. and little outgoing mind, mm. then Mahamaya can. But if you are not relaxed and peaceful, mm. Yogamaya will help you. Mm. Mm. So mind is not the need to go out. Mm. Then the mercy of Yoga Maya, mercy of our Swamini, we may fix one stipend. And yes, the last meeting, Sachinanda is reading that. Yes. <coughs> Beautiful. Prabhupada's book. Actually, this is Gurudev. This is a Shukadeva is saying, huh? But Prabhupada writes it. Yes, Prabhupada. Also written by Hindi, but this was very clearly explained by Prabhupada. Mm, yes. This is the speciality of the book. We don't understand my problem, mm. but it is very crystal clear in this book. <clears throat> so, therefore, we understand. Rupa Goswami said, uh, live in Vrindavan. But for some time, sure. Yeah, yeah. And then if we could not, by mentally, we should live in Vrindavan. Yeah. That is the Rupa Goswami teaching. <coughs> and one, there is this, um, if you go to Loi Bazaar, you will definitely come across uh, shops where there's a t-shirt saying, 
I lost my heart in the love. <laughs> and that says everything. And I think for all of us, it's so difficult to leave. And we don't know why. Like once you arrive here, like when once you really arrive, the Buddha said we have to first arrive, no? It's very difficult to go out from here. Ask from Maria. Maria is a very <laughs> living example. <laughs> Maria doesn't want to leave anymore, Brad. Next up, brother, to Maria. I surprised you. She doesn't even want to leave Radha Kundi, but she loves you so much that sometimes she steps out of her. I also love her, but she now feel my So, Vrindavan is a place of the heart, not of the mind. <laughs> you go in mind, my, 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 get you. Mind is bringing out to you. So, my, 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 here is the place of heart. If you're living in a heart, your Maya help you. And if you go in a mind, you will go out. Rather, <laughs> then eating is not working. <laughs> we have to play this term. Maya Shakti will disturb. Your Maya will give love <laughs> and Ananda. Oh, Ananda, oh, saintly mind. Oh, saintly mind. Oh, oh. You see, you know, my baby not want to leave this house. Go out from the town. You see, it is. It is. Yes. See, always meditate in Radha. Radha land. Right? Mm -hmm. Even her son, I am, <coughs> is so much missing with that. Yeah. Now he has very good job, international company, super job, office, everything. And when you call him and speak to him, he says, I miss him now. Wow. Wow. Amazing lotus flowers. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. 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 Who is telling? Mahatma. Mahatma. Where is coming? Amazing. He's a very good example who only start he start his bhakti life with Vilaku Sumans and listening to him. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. He's coming in a tour and you will see that. <coughs> All you will see. <laughs> you have to extend more air straight here. Uh, amazing to this. <laughs> you have a long research. Five years, no? Huh? Oh, what did you say? Yes, five years. Sensei. Then only go to Nepal and come back. <laughs> My car also now it can go. <laughs> Is it possible? Right? Yes. Okay. Wow. You, you, know know find out. you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to come to Renal back in <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> A 
amazing lotus flower. <laughs> Lilies and Kalara flowers are covering the sweet water of the Kunda. You see, these are Gopi Sati covering to the sweet water. Different flowers decorate the Kunda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by buzzing bees yes, that become intoxicated by <coughs> their fragrance. You see, there's a buzzing bee, Krishna. Yes, not only for Radhika, <coughs> with the flower, with the all go bee and such, he is out. He becomes intoxicated. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Neeti, you are listening or not? <laughs> so, for Dr. Nepush Kamantia, Good for today, bus good. Bus, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So there is one uh, sequence of the Lila when Radharani in the water game gets some water in her eyes, in her tender, beautiful eyes. She holds the hands on her eyes as Doris Burroughs explained. And then she goes underwater and swims away. And now Sham is desperate to look where is she. And then the Manjari's hint that there is a part of the Radhakund Lake where there are many lotus flowers that she should search there. So he starts looking, but you know, they all look the same. But there's one lotus flower where many bumblebees are flying around. <laughs> so then he understands where the, his queen lotus flower is hiding. Amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> so he swims there eagerly. And uh, also, both disappear under that lotus flowers. So, just wanted to say at this. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing lotus flowers. Yeah. This guy, not my American. He is coming through it. Very nice couple, Sadhvi and Mahadeva. Amazing couple. Mm, amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.